Welcome to Paranoia. <clears throat> we'll be picking up where we left off last week. Um, these guys uh, are getting certified for their uh, troubleshooter license number, and they have been sent to the uh, Warbot Mark IV Memorial uh, Square, which is a uh, park in Alpha's complex that... Uh, um, well, they are they are doing a live action exercise, uh, attempting to root out um, treasonous activities that have taken place at the park. Uh, before we get started, we'd like to thank one of the friends of the Greenwater Guild Hall. None of these are sponsorships or partnerships of any kind; they are just products that we really like. <clears throat> Tonight, we would like to thank Fable Beard Company. Uh, Fable Beard Company makes wonderful beard products such as oils, bombs, butters, and co-wash. Uh, they have beard wash, they have all manner of products. Uh, they also have a women's line under the fablebeauty.com label. And uh, <clears throat> all of their scent profiles are a different fantasy character. Tonight I am wearing Dr. Wolf Beard Butter. Um, it smells of blueberries and a light pipe tobacco. Um, but they have a ton of different scents. I highly recommend going through and finding one that I'm sure will match what you need. Um, if you are a first-time purchaser, they do have a buy one, get one free option. <clears throat> uh, just put two beard oils into your cart, and when you're checking out, use the code FIRST in all capital letters, and that will get you a free beard oil. I, uh, I am sorry if I sound <coughs> congested and messed up. I evidently got sick uh, coming back from uh, Hermiston High School's graduation. Uh, I, I don't think I caught it there. Because, I mean, I got sick, like, immediately the day after we got home. I think I, I probably caught it from, from somebody before I left. Um, but I, I think I might know who, but, uh, you know, it's not his fault. But, <clears throat> so I apologize if I'm constantly clearing my throat and coughing, and uh, I will try to mute myself as much as possible when that happens. Don't know where Glenn is. Um, he may... Act, we've had a, a screwy couple of weeks as far as uh, schedules go, so he might think that we're off this week. I don't know. Um, I sent him a message. We'll see what happens. Hopefully he can join us. If not, uh, I'm sure we will see him next week. So, um, before we get started, uh, we have to get Wes his his uh, item from R and D, because oh. he wasn't here last week. So before this, of course, takes place before you arrive um, at the Warbot Mark IV Memorial. Um, and Wes, you are given. Let me find it here. God, I feel like I've been gone for three months. Like <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. So. Wes, you are given a piece of Cortex software. Uh, this is called oh. the Who Witch Cortex Activity Logger. And uh, the woman at the, at the uh, PLC tells you, and she, as she drinks on her Bouncy Bubble uh, B3 beverage, says, traders are bold in the digital world because they're stupid enough to think that we, they can mask their identity online. <laughs> the Cortec app scans the memory caches of devices to download the Cortec address of whoever made the last activity, then cross-references that with the master clone database to identify the trader. <laughs> so you are given the who which. And you are down here at the train station, at the bottom. You can select where you want to go. Now over here is the, this is the Warbot Mark IV uh, Memorial. This is the Captain Alpha Bubbly Fountain. Captain Alpha is the, uh, well, here I'll show you. He is a celebrity. This is Captain Alpha. And oh, yeah. <clears throat> Captain Alpha is uh, the uh, incredibly violent hero. Uh, he is um, looked up to, 
Uh, he is uh, the uh, former Indigo Clearance Vulture Squadron leader, and uh, he is kind of the superhero of, that everybody looks up to in Alpha Complex, or is scared of, one or the other. So the, he, he has a bubbly fountain here. And then <clears throat> over here is the... Sorry, I'm, new, I'm using a piece of new software and I'm trying to figure it out here. Almost out. This is the Vitamin K Kebabs Fast Cafe kiosk. Uh, so you could choose wherever you would like to go in the memorial park to uh, begin your search for evidence. I'm trying to find evidence of treason of some sort. Correct. No, no real description. Now, just now, look for treason. <clears throat> all of you should look on your character sheets on the naughty side, and I believe it will be at the bottom of the character sheet on the naughty side. There are some notes. I believe each of you have a history with the Warbot or the Warbot Mark IV Memorial Square. Are we to keep this information secret? Yes, that is for your eyes only, since it is on your naughty side. Okay. <clears throat> I want to... Uh... I guess if I have to... This is just like a bench or something? Uh, This here? Yeah. Yes. Yes, this okay. is like a, a park where... Um, where clones can go and and relax and um, it, it, this isn't real grass it, it's astroturf <laughs> but um, these aren't even real trees um, but it is it is a park where clones can go and um, commemorate the memory of Warbot Mark IV. What is this over here where Glenn is? This here? Yeah. That is the Warbot Mark IV Memorial. And, hold on, I have... <laughs> so it, in reality, looks like this. <laughs> All right. And then... Yeah, I... And then oh. uh, up here, uh, you have the Captain Alpha Bubbly Fountain, uh, which... Looks like this. And then, of course, the uh, kebabs. Yeah. I think I think I want to head over here to the kebabs thing and and get something to eat. Okay. So you know, I don't, I don't okay. know. Okay. So um this uh, so vitamin K kebabs fast or fast calf kiosk is a small chain of fast food restaurants selling soy meat kebabs leveling, lovingly frosted with just enough ketamine to feel calm and relaxed. Mm. Um, <sighs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just reading an additional part here that's <laughs> kind of fucked up. Anyways, um, <clears throat> so... Uh, The first thing that Cameron and Wes, you both note as you um, come up to the uh, fast calf, is there is a woman that is behind the, the counter, <clears throat> and she, she looks very dejected. Uh, 
Um, and she looks like she has been beaten. Um, she's got a black eye, and there's contusions, and there's numerous bruises. And she, she just looks beat up and worn out. And uh, like you know, she she's just trying to get through the day. And of course, in your uh, your core tech pops up that her name is Hannah OFX, or I'm sorry, Hannah. Yes, just Hannah OFX. She is not. Um, she doesn't have a code clearance. She is infrared, so she is way below you guys. And <laughs> as you <clears throat> as you approach, um, well. Uh, Let me see here. Both of you can roll uh, brains plus psychology, and you'll need you'll need three successes between the two of us. Um, each. Brains and psychology. And the computer dice, right? Uh, yeah, we'll roll the computer dice next. But well, if you're rolling at home, you can roll a, um, a computer dice with that. I don't even see brains. Damn it! I only got one success. So oh, there is one. Okay, there it is. All right. So I get one die. Then. Do you have I'm anything not... in psychology? No, I have a zero in psychology. <laughs> so you get to roll one die. There. So that's a failure. Now you can go ahead and roll your computer dice. Not four. What I got. Um, I think, Wes, what is, if you look under third part wellness, well, what is your flags currently set at? If uh, you don't have anything, you're probably loyal. No, I'm gray listed. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Let me. Oh, shit. Did we both get friend computered? It's a five or a six that gets me friend computered. I believe you are correct. If I can get this to cooperate. Not what I wanted. So yes, you need to, f uh, or you would be noticed on a five or six. Okay. Uh, there we go. So, uh, <clears throat> so Cameron, what did you get? Did you get any successes? I got one success. I rolled seven dice. No okay. one. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, and I also need to fix this. You guys are all on your second clone. Yeah. Actually, Glenn, I think, is on his third clone. Yeah, he died again. I forget how. If we're wrapping it up tonight, you can just not be cautious at all. <laughs> right, yeah, just go balls to the wall. So... So, uh, so can, the the infrared behind the counter, she starts to um, read off, uh, or not really read off, but she it's clearly a script. Hello, would you like to purchase some delicious soy calf kebabs and dust lightly dusted with delicious vitamin K? What would you guys yes. like to do at the calf? How do I how do I get vitamin? How do I do it? Um, oh, wait. I bet you spend XP on it? Yeah. You can spend much, XP. How much XP is a kebab? 
Uh, hold on. So, uh, so what are you trying to do, Cameron? I'm trying to purchase the kebab. Oh, okay. So yeah, uh, the the kebabs are uh, five XP. Sweet. I'm gonna get one and start eating it. I'll turn to West and I'll say the best thing about being red clearance is you're allowed to eat while you're on the clock. I so, think that sounds wonderful. I want to eat some too. Okay, so deduct five XP and. Uh, both of you are uh, eating your kebabs, and you instantly become very calm. You're you're very, very calm. You both gain one moxie. So oh, sweet. I didn't know doing drugs would give me moxie. That's really convenient. I should probably. And everything. Know to, I mean, everything. <laughs> the colors start to get a little bit brighter, and you know, you're just you're just kind of. Uh, there's really, be any trees really in here. Calm and happy. Yeah, there's no trees in here. This is way too comfortable of a place. Oh yeah, this is a nice place. Devin, <laughs> you are over at the burbling and grandiose fountain at the feet of a four meter tall statue of Captain Alpha, the complex's most respected and needlessly violent armed forces soldier. Uh, because oh. resources are scarce in Alpha Complex, this decorative fountain is also a place for thirsty clones to drink right out of it. All right. I will uh, don my investigation hat. Okay. And uh, begin investigating the statue to be a, a, at first. Are you it's hungry? A... You should probably get a kebab. <laughs> <laughs> you, should, you should come over here and eat a kebab. Uh, the kebab is great, man. I know nothing about what you guys are doing. I'm just uh, investigating over here. Well, if you had a With kebab, it, you'd know what we were doing. <laughs> you missed true. it, but Devin, Devin just got a fucking hat. Like, we got technology, and his is a hat. It oh. doesn't, so he looks cool, but, like, yeah. And, but he's the only one working, so it's kind of, it's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> so because you are you put the hat on, this kind of gives you a certain panache. You can make a chutzpah plus science roll. Chutzpah plus, plus science, all right. Uh, let's see. Uh, do I add anything for the hat, or is that just chutzpah plus science? It's just chutzpah plus science. You need you need two successes. Okay. I got a five and a, a two fives and a six, so I guess. Yeah, and uh, the hat automatically gr grants you an additional success. Nice. Wow. And I'll roll awesome. my, I got a one for my uh, computer, for my friend computer roll. Okay. You got a... Okay, good, good, good. Uh, so this means... Means some very interesting things. I am going to private message you. <clears throat> cool. Now, as you are kind of doing your investigation, <clears throat> as you are doing your investigation, there he is. Jumping up out of the water is a wildly aggressive barracuda. 
that somebody has released <laughs> no. into the fountain. <laughs> and it it snaps at you, uh, dealing one wound. And then goes oh, back no. into the water and, and is aggressively swimming back and forth through the fountain. I am now injured. You know, if we fed it a kebab, it might calm down. <laughs> um, With your successes, you actually discover something else. Let me send you another private message. There you go. All right. Um, I think uh, for now, I'd like to go over to Glenn. Okay. Where he is. Okay. So, uh, Cameron and Wes, you guys are eating your kebabs. What would you like to do next? Hmm. It doesn't um, seem like there's much trees in over here. No, there's not. Um, well, I mean, but... you guys haven't searched or anything. I mean... Okay, yeah, let's and let's search for some trees and let's investigate. Let's ask the, the lady if she's seen any. Mm -hmm. so... Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so she she so Hannah OFX is um like I said, she's pretty beat up. Something's happened to her. Um she's wearing her you know, the infrared, you know, standard gray and and, and drab colored um overalls and uh she she quickly glances at cameron and back at wes and she says uh well I, i'm having a hard time mem remembering but I, I mean something obviously happened but the doc bots patched me up oh yeah you got roughed up man let me let me buy you a a, a kebab and and maybe that'll make you feel better. Oh no, I'm not. It's a Denks. It's a Denks company policy for me to eat while I'm on the job. Oh. Well, you're following the rules. That's that's good. I wouldn't want to eat a kebab and be a traitor. That's very yeah. good point. We would have to. We would have to get to you past the test. Well, shit. That's all we got over here. Did anybody steal anything recently, or? Uh, let's see. What was the which device was it that was given to Cameron? I have the Fingarmatic Dust Level Two. Hmm. It might get fingerprints. Uh, okay. I mean, you could use that to uh, investigate. Okay, let's see if there's any fingerprints besides um, so people who are supposed to be here. For that, Fingermatic. I really wanted, maybe I should have, if we can't find anything here, I want to investigate who put the Barracuda in the pond. Go ahead and make, in, your, in this case, you'll want to make a uh brains plus science check oh fuck okay let's see i don't have good science i remember that we got two brains minus one science so roll one die three and computer one okay well one friend shit okay so 
Let me message you. So as you are dusting the counter for fingerprints, you don't find any fingerprints, and you also have to deduct 50 XP because you don't recollect all of the dust, uh, all of the fingerprinting dust when you're done. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> um, can I scan the thing that I found? Sure. Yeah. I'd love to do that. Okay. It. I will private message. Okay. Oh, okay. I can report that, right? Yeah, you certainly could. Okay, I found a treasonous sticker, and it's mine to report. You guys have to find your own stuff. <laughs> That's fine. I'm not trying to take your credit. So, Wes, uh, any ideas? I mean, you have you have your who witch. Yeah. Uh, that lets me, like, scan people to see things and get so information. So it says the Cortec, the Cortec app scans the memory caches of devices to d download the Cortec address of whoever made the last activity, then cross-references cross that with the Master Clone database to identify the traitor. Well, let me scan this lady here with it. Okay, go ahead and you can make. Go ahead and make a brains plus science. All right, brains, science. So I get two. I'll get two dice. Yep. I got one success. Yeah, one success. Go ahead and, make, go ahead and roll your computer dice. It does not do any good. No, it does not. But you did find something. And I need to find out exactly what, but yes. Okay. <laughs> Do I get any bonuses from the Cortex app thing? Uh, it's going to be a mixed bag for you, but. You figure something out. Yeah. Mm. So, <laughs> so you gain one treason star. And I'll explain why in just a moment. Let me uh, let me send you a private message. I'm now restricted. Is that what you mean? Yes. All right.
You know, I can't believe Devin found a barracuda in the pond and then just left. <laughs> <laughs> so there's your, like, your uh, there's your secret message, Wes. Devin, what are you doing? Um, I'm going to investigate the uh, um, the memorial as well. Okay. Go ahead and make a here. go ahead and make a chutzpah plus um, chutzpah plus science check. Okay. It's the same as last time, right? Yeah. yeah two successes. There's two successes and make a computer check. Four. Uh oh. I am gray listed, so. Okay. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so first. Oh, okay. First. If I can get this to function. There we go. So, uh, two things. First, so Wes, uh, you use the device and you scan Hannah OFX's memories, and it, because you only got one success, you you as you pull the memories out of her, you screw up and you also wipe. Uh, you you take the memories. You there you 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 do a cut instead of a copy, and and pull them out, and she forgets everything, including her name. You could probably get her to eat. Um during her shift and report her if you want to get her. Uh, well, actually, I want to look at her. I, I, want to, I want to tell Cameron that uh, I got a memory from Hannah that said, uh, you know, said you used a taser on an, in, on an innocent uh, scrub bot and then you reported the, the, nearest, the nearest insect trooper that Hannah was one that did the damage to the bot. And, uh, that I thought crazy. I report. I thought I reported her for eating off her uh, during her shift. No, That's the way it, I remember it. The memory that I just took from Hannah said that, but uh, you know, perhaps, perhaps we might have uh, similar interests. Is what I gather from this. I have no intention to report you for treason. Uh, uh, I, I think maybe we can work together. Okay, what do you want to do? I want to try to get a virus and free it, feed it to friend computer. <laughs> what? Well, that's... Well, okay, you just forgave my treason, so I can't really... <laughs> it's about... Yeah. It's equal, you know. Yeah. Um, I, I did find this QR code for buying stuff on the black market. I'll point it out to him. Let's see if we could buy a virus and, and sneak it on friend computer. Well, this would be the way to do it, I would imagine. Yeah. So, so yeah. So, Hannah won't remember much. <laughs> <laughs> so, Devin, you hear uh, in your cortex, ding! Greetings, citizen. I see you have found evidence that suggests that Glenn R. is guilty of treason. What do you intend to do with that? You realize that you must report all treasonous activity or you yourself will be deemed a traitor. I, I do intend to report that immediately. What evidence have you collected? I'm going to collect the butt off of his boots. <laughs> and you receive the following. Yeah. 
Termination code incoming. So oh. the termina you are granted a termination code, clearance to kill Glenn R. And in order to do this, uh, you have to recite uh, after, um, before or after killing Glenn, you have to recite this code within 60 seconds or you yourself will be flagged for termination. Oh, perfect. Well, um, I suppose I will uh, in fire on him. <laughs> okay. You could just say the code. Why not? Yeah, Why I'll say the code be... as soon as I've done it. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and roll a violence plus guns. Okay, I gotta check what that is. All right, so three. And I failed really badly. Roll, go ahead and roll a computer dice. <clears throat> oh no! <laughs> well, that's two successes. That that means you got two successes. So you, so yes, you pull out your gun and you shoot Glenn in the face, and Glenn, uh, Glenn's clone drops, and you hear a friend computer go, "Please recite termination code, or else this killing will be deemed unlawful, and you will be deemed a traitor." T seven eight F E N nine nine zero one K. Termination code accepted. Nice. Congratulations, citizen. You one one of your flags has been removed for removing a traitor from our midst. Awesome. Good work. And you hear a foomp and Glenn's next clone, Glenn R five or Glenn R four comes uh popping out of one of the suck tubes near the <laughs> memorial and lands in the astroturf and rolls across the ground. And kind of gets up and kind of dusts himself off and he's looking around like, what What just happened? He doesn't remember me killing him, so that's good. So, <laughs> yeah, he won't remember the last five minutes or so. <clears throat> There's a bit of lag. So, uh, with the... Uh, so Cameron and Wes, uh, so Cameron, you are showing him the QR code? The black market one? Yeah, why not? Okay. I only have one clone gone. I, did, I honestly didn't expect you guys to team up. Uh, so that means, and you're looking for software. So this black market site does have uh, uh, total safe ar total safety armor, aka the safe. This is level five blue armor. It costs a thousand XP on the black market. Mm -hmm. It is yeah. a coffin-shaped indestructible metal container big enough for one clone. Uh, provides the ultimate protection at the cost of all mobility and common sense. Uh, will block all damage, even from lava and nukes. <laughs> this, <laughs> if it fails, uh, the safe has fallen. Uh, the safe has fallen, and anyone inside is stuck. Uh, at least you won't take any damage from the fall. Um, there is. There is um, some some software. There is a level three green clearance data bomb, a device that emits a polymorphic worm virus that hits any digital storage medium within a meter before deleting itself. Uh, they want yeah. 300 XP for this. Is there any EXP here that Hannah has? <laughs> but like Hannah, you're <laughs> supposed to give me the EXP that the the stand is collected. Roll a Hutzpah plus Bluff. It always kind of... Hutzpah's two. All right. Bluff five. Hell yeah. I get some dice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I got two successes. Two, yeah, two successes. And roll a computer dice. 
I rolled a two, which is still Ooh. below my alert. Okay. So, so <clears throat> with two successes, <laughs> Hannah, Hannah says, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Did I not give you your change? And she, uh, she hands over. She says, I, I, I must have, I must have spaced out for a minute. How much do I owe you? You owe me a thousand credits. <laughs> That's right, Jackie. You do. I'm just gonna give her a new name. Yeah. <laughs> she she looks through the register of the kiosk and she says, "Oh, well, we only have eight hundred XP." Well, then I'll have to take that and another couple of uh, sticks. Okay, and so she she transfers 800 XP to Wes, and she gives you two more uh, kebabs. I'll give, I'll, yeah, I'll give Cameron a kebab and uh, and 400 XP. And be oh, like, really? let's, yeah, let's buy some shit on the black market. <laughs> let's spend a clone. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so there's the data bomb. Is there anything else to buy on the black market at the moment? There is. Let's see here. There the data is, bomb a, is three. a yellow clearance level two pack and sniff. Intercept data packets from a target's cortex signal before they can act. Oh, wow. Sneaking on their thoughts. What, How much what is this, that? What this essentially would allow you to do is you can pick one human character, so like say a, a green insect goon. Um, you get to go one security le one security clearance level before them in that round, because you are basically reading their cortex thoughts. Mm -hmm. uh, they want uh, four hundred for the pack and snuff. I'm considering it. I don't know what all my options are, I guess. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm wanting something that would, I'm wanting something that'll disrupt friend computer. Maybe do a reboot or something. That's going to be extremely difficult because, I mean, that, being, having even access to do something like that would be ultra, ultraviolet, uh, Programmer clearance, oh. high programmer clearance. So, uh, let's try and find something fun then. Yeah, it, what, about a, what about a bomb? Well, there's the data bomb. Um, yeah, that's that's. But you want a bomb bomb? Well, the data bomb just erases all the computer shit in a general area, right? Uh, I mean, it's a polymorphic worm virus that hits any digital storage medium with a, within a meter before it deletes itself. All digitally stored data within one meter is permanently erased. All right. And how much is that again, you said? Uh, 300. And it's I'm gonna level go, three green clearance. I'm going to go ahead and buy that. I'll okay. buy a data Now, bomb. remember, if you're using anything above your clearance level, which all of you are red, you're going to want to not use that in public because that would be treasonous. Well, only uh, it's only only treasonous if we get caught. That's true. Yeah, but yeah, erasing all the computer that way we can do some nefarious shit and, and erase things. Yeah, that might come in really handy. There are um, there are a inv list of inventory of physical items that you can go <laughs> physically go to this black market and purchase. One of those items. Is an orange clearance level two med kit. Uh, medical kit with simple first aid supplies, so no cool drugs. Mm -hmm. um, it'll heal one wound plus one additional wound healed for every success. Um, and there is a uh, there is a section of the website that will allow you to order prescriptions. Ooh. Okay, prescriptions. Well, there are you can order a prescription for uh, Gelgenine, uh, aka Happy Pills. That's red clearance, level three. Um, mm. Pretty much, these can be ordered almost anywhere. But uh, sometimes infrareds want to get red clearance stuff. Um, these Happy Pills will give you plus two Moxie and reduce all current flags by one step. 
Um, there is uh, Focusol, which is level three. Small black capsules, usually in brown plastic bottle. Plus one success to all brains rolls, thanks to laser-like focus. And so if you order a prescription, does it like, does a drone come give it to you, or do you, I have to physically go to the black market? Okay. Okay, I will, I will get to that in just a moment, Well. Yeah. Uh, you can get I, you I can, said the fucking last line in public, but that's just how it fucking goes. There is a <laughs> prescription for oxyphenorin. A painkiller that makes opioids look like cold compresses. Uh, no, there are no penalties due to wounds. Wow. Uh, Damn. There is red clearance level 3 thymoblandin. Uh, it's a small white pill that w with a cross imprint designed to calm people down. Uh, plus one success for any role about, uh, that is about staying calm, and any moxie loss is reduced by one. The next prescription is thymoglandin, uh, level 3 blue, small white pill with a plus sign imprinted, designed to make soldiers fight ferociously. Plus one success to all violence rolls. So I'd have to physically go there to get any of these though, right? Well, they will, they will issue a prescription in your name, um, and any prescription that you want to order is 100 XP. And they will issue a prescription. You can go to any pharmacy and pick these up. Okay. Um, I think I'll get the murder pills. Uh, whatever those were. The fighting ones. Okay. You, you want it? I'm sorry, which pills? The last one you said. That oh, the, it was for, the thymoglandin? Yeah, for soldiers to fight ferociously and you get plus one to your violence. Yes. Yeah, I'll go ahead and get that. Okay. That sounds good. There are also uh, weapons uh, that they can give you uh, clearance for. Um, or, excuse me, you won't have clearance for them, but you will have an authorization to pick one up from a PLC. Oh, okay. For 500 XP. You can pick up <clears throat> a cone rifle, a.k.a. Big Blue. It is a blue level 4 unguided shoulder-fired RPG launcher. Holy shit. <laughs> it will turn hurts into maimed and all other wounds into dead. Oh my. I don't think I can carry that thing around without causing some problems, so... Uh. I'm going to whiff it if I try and fire that. At 200 XP apiece, they have orange level 3 fragmentation grenades. That's pretty cool. It is the typical anti-personnel grenade that is great for parties. Hey, you wanted a bomb. This is pretty close. Yeah, and they're, they're how much? Two? 200 apiece. I'll, I'll get a grenade. That... You get clearance to pick one up, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, fuck it, I'm going to do two. Yeah, might as well get myself some stuff. If we're going we're gonna to run out, I want to blow something the fuck up. Yeah. So, Devin, uh, what would you like to do? Um... <clears throat> I think I'm done grenade? here, so um, I I suppose I will go and see if I can get myself a kebab. Okay. Um, <laughs> as you are heading over towards the kiosk, you check your your XP balance, and you see that 100 XP has been removed from your balance account. Well, well that's, that's irritating. Fine. Okay. You gonna keep your hat on? Sure, I, I'm. I'm sure that it uh, is helpful, so I'll, I'll keep my hat on for the moment. Uh, Devin, uh, roll a chutzpah plus science check. Okay. Another one. Oh. 
Oh, that's pretty good. Two successes, it looks like. Roll a computer check. Oh, that gets the computer. Okay. And you hear, um, ding! Greetings, citizen. We're aware that there was a, a unspecified removal, removal of XP points from your balance. Can you explain this withdrawal? Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I certainly cannot. <laughs> We have reason to believe that your XP point, the, the removal of your XP points was granted to a secret society. You're not a member of the communists, are you? Um, no, but uh, uh, I can tell you that somebody else is. That's good, citizen. Be sure to document all evidence. Don't make a report unless you can prove your... Prove your claims. All right. So what are you guys doing? I want to look at the fountain. Okay. Um, Devin, are you going to give me any kind of heads up that there's a barracuda in there? Or am I going to have to discover it? Part of it? <laughs> I thought you knew. Um, no, I uh, I probably would not uh, mention the Barracuda. Okay, well, let's just go learn about it then. Uh, so what are you doing at the fountain? I'm investigating it for reason, right? Because I was going to turn in the sticker, but now I've used it treasonously. So I need to find something else in order to try and get my stupid clearance. Okay. Uh, hold on here. Hmm. No, there's no change for kebabs anymore, Devin. You have to pay the exact change. <laughs> I, have to pay, I have to pay the exact change for a kebab. Okay, I can do yeah. that. So, yeah, you, so Devin, you notice that Hannah OFX... Um, is just kind of standing there with a blank look on her face, and she's like, I, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing here. What's my name? <laughs> um, oh, no. So, mm, hold on here. I'm going to order a kebab as, 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 while I am standing here. Okay. It's calming. It makes you feel like you're doing a good job. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd like a calming... Kebab. Cameron and Wes, uh, you both, uh, so you ate those second kebabs, and now the colors of everything. No, I, I did not eat it. Oh, you're I not eating it? Me. No, I was, I was hanging on to mine. Okay. What about Wes? Oh, I'm eating it. So you notice that the colors of everything are getting much more vibrant, and um, and you're starting to. It looks like the trees are starting to walk. They're like getting up and walking around on their own, and uh, and you you see a character pop up in out of one of the trees, and you know that his name is Mr. Freckles, and. He's cleverly standing there looking at Wes, going, Hey, Wes, R, you enjoying your kebab? And he's sitting there hanging out of this tree, eating this kebab. I am. I'm, I'm enjoying the kebab a lot, Mr. R. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to 
come over here behind the the tree and uh no i think i will stay over here and throw is that the tree sure i want to throw a grenade at it <laughs> <laughs> and be like oh fuck him, mr freckles Go ahead and roll a violence plus throw. All right. Violence plus... Oh, zero. So, no, I don't have any. So just roll a have computer any. dice. All right. I'll roll a computer dice. This is four. Oh, great. Yeah. That <laughs> should target the computer. Oh. So <clears throat> you go and you throw the the uh, grenade, um, and instead it lands in the kiosk and explodes. Um, so, awesome. so Wes and Devin find it. Oh wait, no, I take that back. So Wes. <laughs> has the grenade in his hand and he pulls the pin out and he throws the pin and it lands in the kiosk but he's still holding on to the grenade oh man I'm gonna hand it to Ke Devin <laughs> <laughs> like no I'm gonna give it to Hannah yeah <laughs> she like, won't remember hey, shit yeah, here you go Hannah this will make everything okay and I'm gonna head over to the fountain really fast okay so you, so Devin, you succeeded, but it falls out onto the ground, and then you see Wes take off running, and he's he's taking off his red reflex armor, and is and it's now down around his ankles, and he's waddling as fast as he can, waving his arms over his head as he runs to the fountain, just as the kiosk explodes. Uh, Hannah. OFX is no longer with us. Oh, no. And <clears throat> you take two wounds. Uh, that's going to kill me. Oh, oh yeah. Bye. Yep, that's it. Dead. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. You are now on clone three. Your foop <laughs> and Devin's third clone comes out. Cool, you get to start over on a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I do. Well, no, you only forget the last five minutes. Yeah, I, my like, wounds and flags are reset, though, right? And my moxie yeah. goes to four. Correct. That's what I mean. Yeah, your moxie's at four, and, and you are back to loyal. Okay. So, Cameron, roll a... Brains plus science. What is that? Brains two. Science minus one. I rolled a two, and my computer dice is six. Okay. So, hold on here. I think the tree's activity was coming out of the kebab house. Probably. Yeah, that's all that Probably. makes sense. So, there's your, there's your secret message, Cameron. And as you are uh, investigating, the barracuda jumps out of the water and bites you just as you are getting gathering your fingerprints and deals one wound to you. 
Okay, I'm like main now. Um, I want to throw my kebab in there to try and calm this thing down. Okay. Uh, roll. Roll a brains plus throw. Okay, that's just one dice again. <laughs> Okay, I got a two. I got a three on my computer check. I'm sorry, what'd you get? A two. I failed. Okay. Damn it. I didn't know I could fuck that up. Damn. So, <laughs> you throw the kebab in there, uh, but it seems that the barracuda now has a taste for human flesh. And is more interested in in you than uh, than it is the kebab, and so this barracuda just keeps swimming back and forth in in the uh, fountain. Well, that pisses me off, and I'm going to um, upload or report the fingerprints that I found um, on the barracuda. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. So, on your on your sheet, on the naughty side, under evidence, uh, you should write down what any evidence that you guys have collected. I believe you've all collected some evidence. Okay. I got my evidence all written down. Okay. So you are all now, uh, you've all collected evidence. You can, you've basically done your job. You can return to receive your uh, certification clearance number. Of course, that would mean going back and taking the train. Yeah. Ride the train. For Wes, this is the train, uh, Transbot TRE 499 uh, refurb that you rode here on and will be taking back. <laughs> oh. Now, one of, the, I... one of the things about What's Alpha me? Complex is that um, even with all of the technology, they do not have the ability to rebuild or make new uh, bot brains. So a lot of bot brains are taken from badly damaged bots and repurposed into other devices. So you might be flying around in a plane bot uh, flying over some area of Alpha Complex and the bot brain in that plane may have once been a trash compactor or, you know, a sewer collection bot or something like that. So you never know <laughs> where the bot brain uh, currently, or what, what level of, of competence is currently in the, in the vehicle that you're driving in. Oh. I'm sure oh. it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Well, it's fine. If, if Devin says so, then it's got it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Devin's one of the trust, most trustworthy people I've ever met. I, uh, yeah. Kind of communistic, <laughs> though. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I yeah. something. I mean, I think so. so you you all are gathered around. Uh, the train station. <laughs> Devin looking brand spanking new. And uh, Cameron's bleeding from her arm and Wes is in don't partial I, states I, of undress. Don't I still have a claw arm from the last thing? <laughs> yes, you do. yes, you yeah. do. <clears throat> yeah, I, you still I, have, you still have hooks for hands from, from, the, from your training incident. Yes. And Alejandro says, the last section of your certification exam is also the last part of Troubleshooter mission, the debriefing. 
This is where you, sh you share all the good and bad in your mission, including accusing teammates of being stupid traitors, if they really are traitors. We do not want to punish innocent citizens, right? Well, maybe a quick punch in their face just for fun. Take your special transbot back to LMS Sector and meet me inside the Cold Fun Presents Briefing Room 7, sponsored by Soylent Surprise Bars inside Synergy Train, a bouncy bubble beverage volunteer center. There, we will debrief you all and find out which of you deserves the coveted Troubleshooter of the Week Cycle Award. Ready, study, begin! And so your transbot shows back up, and you are all um, able to move on uh, to or head towards uh, the volunteer center. Mm -hmm. All right. Yay. Okay. Redo this since you're... <laughs> you guys have gone through more clones than I anticipated. <laughs> so you take off on your... on your... Uh, your bot <coughs> after riding along for a few minutes you notice a red auto car is gaining on you you can see that the bl the back a modified cargo bed without a top is full of citizens with one hand they're holding on to a big furry hats so they don't blow away with the other hand they seem to be pointing red lasers at you wow that's unsafe at any speed wait one of them has a very different looking gun, and he fires a blue electrical charge that covers your whole transbot in sparks and lightning. Terry the transbot says, Bzzz. Wow, those guys need a scrub -b 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 and begins to slow down while leaning a bit too much to one side. Does anyone want to take manual control? Oh, I, I, I'll, I'll do it. I, I, I'll operate good. If that's the right skill, I don't. I can't do this at all. So. Yeah, I have mechanic <laughs> one, operate five. I got fucking zeros and gold, so I'm like this shit out of luck here. Yeah, I I think uh, if it's mechanics operate, I, I have the same level of uh, skill. I have three and three, so that adds to the same number. These are the guys oh, that are riding in the truck. Wow, they look fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should join them. Yeah. <laughs> Wes, I'm going to send you a private message. When you, when you play this game in real life, you have to pass notes or something to do this? Do what? You have to pass notes when you play this like in real life or get a table. Uh, yeah, occasionally. Um, I mean, whisper stuff. Yeah. So, who, so do you guys want to take manual control? Um, Go for I'm it. Gonna, all right. I'll I'll take control of the the vehicle, okay. and uh, and I'm going to. Uh... Can you hit those guys in the car, maybe? Well, no, we're on this this thing. Yeah, we're you're on a track, oh, on a but track. now okay, because the, the the train bot is kind of leaning heavily to one side uh, towards this side. And so, uh, I mean, it's almost about to just come completely off the rails. Is there like a key or anything? Uh, like an on and off key or something? Sure. I want to grab the key and jump out and wave at the fucking <laughs> truck. And be like, <laughs> yeah, here I am. I got the key. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Go ahead and make wow. a um, make a violence plus athletics check. Wonder how violent I can be. Violence two plus athletics. Yes. Oh well, I'm about to be hurt. 
uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I get I get my computer die, and it will activate the computer. Oh shit! He's seen you at your best moment. Cool. Yeah, he's seen me when I'm fucking trying to go join my people. So you guys, <laughs> you see. <laughs> You see Wes pull the the uh, key card out of the console of the transbot and then jump out of the car. And <clears throat> just as you all vaguely hear, ding, citizen, it is, it is traitorous activity and highly dangerous to jump out of a moving vehicle right before Wes R is splattered all over the front of the hood of this... Uh, of the vehicle of the communists that are chasing you. And then you hear, foomp, and landing in the car, you see um, Wes's third clone appear. All right. Did, um, did getting hit, or you know how, like, if a deer jumps in front of your car, it, like, wrecks it? Is yes. your car fine, or did Wes's body fuck things up for them? That's a very good question. Um, no, they they just he just splatters all over the front. There's a big dent in the hood. But this They're is just a pretty, using the windshield this, wipers for the blind. Yeah, this is a pretty uh, this is a pretty uh, gnarly vehicle. <clears throat> These guys. You see three of them from the back of the truck. You see a, a, like a, a flash, like three flashes. And then inside the train car, you see three flashes, and these three guys appear. They teleported. What? Well, this seems like the time to use my blue laser pistol. Indeed. Okay. Indeed. I'm going to fire on, uh, I guess, one of them at random. I'll pick one at random and roll the, or fire with my blue laser pistol. Okay, go ahead and roll a violence plus guns. We'll pick this one. Okay. That's one success. And computer didn't help. <clears throat> so that is... One wound. Uh, this guy. This guy gets hit and goes down. He's not. Um, he's not down and out, but he is wounded. Wes, what would you like to do? Um. I mean, I've already kind of added myself as a communist. I'm gonna go run to my people. I get out and and come over there and go. Come on, man. Let's 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 go. Okay. Take me to the hideout. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to fucking get fucking so, employee of the month. <laughs> so you're going to attempt to jump from the train to the moving truck again? I thought we were stopped. No, not yet. He pulled the oh. thing out. That yeah, he pulled the thing out, but it, it's it's just slowing down. Um, oh, well, then I want to take cover and wait, then. Okay. Cameron, what are you doing? I'm almost dead, and so all my um, checks are going to suck. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to suicide bomb with my grenade at near these two guys and hopefully kill both of them. <laughs> That doesn't really take any skill to, like, hug it, you know? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't think. Um, go ahead and, just for fun, roll Hutzpah plus Stealth. Hutzpah plus Stealth. Okay, I get three. That's not too bad. Three dice and a computer dice. Two successes. Yeah. Okay. This... It, this side and this side of the train, all the windows blow out, and Cameron explodes. 
the team, the computer guys is by also. Sorry. And you hear foom, and she lands inside the the vehicle with her new clone. She also takes out those two communists, and <laughs> and you hear ding. Greetings, citizen. You have gained one flag as gray listed for igniting an explosive device in a rail car. Mm. Likewise, you are you are you are deducted 100 XP points as a as a fine for using a uh, traitorous device. Well, at least I have my arm back. Uh, as so a couple of things happen. The first thing that happens is you you hear uh, the trans bot go zzz, 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 and start to wake up and he takes back control of the train and the train starts to speed again. Out here. You notice outside of the vehicle that a number of insect goons have taken note of the explosion and are now trying to chase down the communist first guard teleportation unit <clears throat> and are following the train. This communist, well, this communist is going to teleport in. This, uh -huh. this communist is going to... This communist, <clears throat> you see him go start to reach under the console, and he's uh, messing around with the wires. Devin, what would you like to do? Well, I don't want him messing around with the wires, so I'm going to continue to fire on him. Okay, go ahead and roll a violence plus guns. Ah, I failed. <laughs> oh, shit. So and computer got me. <laughs> Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> What's your current flag setting? Uh, it, it is, uh, um, let's see. Are you restricted? I am uh, loyal. You're loyal. Okay. Um, so you are now restricted. You hear ding. <clears throat> Citizen, you are using a weapon above your clearance level. You're not cleared for that. You are now restricted. And your shot uh, misses the the first guard, but it blows through the console and and through the transbot's brain. And the oh, the explosion of the console sucks this first guardsman out. Oh. But now the train is is careening down the track and it seems to be picking up speed. You also notice on the track Ahead of you in an intersection, <laughs> and, and I have to I have to read this because it's it's just too good. An ambulance for yellow and higher only lower clearances can walk it off. Sits in the middle of your rail track. Three blue vulture squadron medics are collecting XP point donations for the Give Medics More Money Fund via their Cortex. Uh, is anybody driving the transbot? No, they're not. And you see that there are these three. Um, Vulture Squadron medics in the middle of the track that this uh, train is now going to careen into their ambulance. Maybe they'll slow us down. Wes, what would you like to do? The train is picking I'll, up speed. I want to run over here to this first guard and try to take his teleportation belt. He doesn't have a belt. Well, he's how is he teleporting? He's using a mutant power. Oh. Okay. I'm going to tell him to <laughs> teleport me uh, out of the fucking thing, I guess. That's not really going to work. I'm going to come up here and try to fucking pull the brake. Okay. Go ahead and roll a mechanics plus operate. Oh, that's, that's right up my alley, I believe. And one operate. So this is six dice. 
with no successes. Oh, shit. Uh, go ahead uh, and roll uh, your computer dice. I did roll a six. That gets friend computer's attention. Yes. So before friend computer pops up, you all see a picture of Tila pop up in your Tila's tip. Remember that you can spend Moxie to call in favors from your service group and secret society. The more you spend, the better the effect. Use these to either survive this scene or terminate any teammates deserving of your ire. You can always spend Moxie to improve your roles, but other players can spend their Moxie to make you fail. Have you ever made enemies in this game session? Just kidding. Of course you have. And she disappears. So don't forget that you can also spend Moxie to, to alter successes. So if you, like for instance, Wes just rolled six dice and got no successes. He can say, well, I'm going to spend two Moxie and get two successes anyway. The flip side of that is that Devin could say, well, I don't want him to get any successes. And he can spend three Moxie and make sure that he gets zero successes. You can change somebody else's success to a negative as well. I don't want to kill the innocents, but, I mean, I don't want to waste my moxie on them either. So, I mean, friend computer's coming up. So, I'm gonna go, yeah, yeah, we'll see how it works out. You, <laughs> you hear friend computer in your head. Ding! Citizen, you are to get this train under control immediately or else you will be flagged as a citizen of interest. You are not to run over Vulture Squadron medics. I want to use my data bomb. On who? On all the sensors and shit around here so the computer will okay. maybe forget about me. Um. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh. I mean, the computer's seeing me through all computer terminals and shit. Right, so... Yeah, roll a mechanics plus program. Alright, mechanics one, program minus one. I get the computer dice. Yep. And, yeah, no. Yeah. <clears throat> so... The only affected device is your own Cortec. You now have amnesia, but you do know how to obey friend computer and higher clearance citizens and other basic skills. But you, you, you currently you don't remember who you are or why you're here or what you're doing. And you don't remember any of the evidence that you collected. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to put, I'm going to open up the throttle on the train. <laughs> Cameron, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I mean, you just saw this uh, first guardsman teleport in. He needs to be shot in the face, probably. Let's see here. Sure, you can shoot him in the face. All right. So it's violence plus guns, right? That would be violence, yes. Violence plus guns. Okay. So I get four dice and then a computer dice. Okay. Okay, I got two successes. Okay. And a one, one on my computer roll. Okay, so you shoot this first guardsman, and uh, he's injured. Good. And he kind of goes down. Um, the train... Well, these two guys, two of the vulture, vulture squadron... Well, they go out this way. Two of the Vulture Squadron guys get out of the way, but the train splatters one of them. And they are now covering the front of the train. Uh, you, Wes and Devin, you see one of the Vulture Squadron uh, point up in the sky. And he calls in a favor. Bringing in a Traitor Buster Hellabot. And it's it's coming swooping down um, over the the uh, entire highway, and these guys are now way past you. The insect goons mm. Mm 
these insect goons fire on the truck and destroy it. Oh, shit. Now they're turning around and they are following the train. Um, and they are firing on the train. You see that there are green lasers bouncing off the sides. Uh, and some of them going through the windows. Uh, they're, they're just firing indiscriminately. Oh, fuck. Devin, death, I guess. Devin, what would you like to do? Um, I'm not going to use my blue laser pistol anymore. I think I'm going to switch back to a regular one. Okay. A red one. And um, I'm going to shoot at this last guard because we need to get him out of here. Okay. Go ahead and roll violence plus guns. All right. <clears throat> one success. And one for the computer dice. Okay, so you shoot your red laser pistol, but his armor soaks up the uh, laser and it doesn't get through. Wes, what would you like to do? Um, I want to shoot it to Hellbot. <laughs> okay. Go for it. Want me to use, what, guns and violence? Yeah, it would be... Well, are you... I guess you're just using a gun, right? Yeah, the red. Else? No, that's it. All right, go ahead and roll violence plus guns. I got three <laughs> successes. Damn, you hit the the traitor hunter Hellabot. And my computer thing is a one, so yeah. So, wow, that's actually pretty fucking amazing. Wes leans out the window and shoots with his red laser pistol. And it hits this Trader Buster Hellabot, and you can see that there is a trail of smoke now coming out from behind this helicopter as it is coming in. And you see that this Hellabot is bringing uh, Vulcan chain guns, 20 millimeter auto cannons, and missile launchers uh, to bear on the highway. Basically, everything on the highway. <laughs> it doesn't care if it's killing civilians or what. going crazy but it's not necessarily just on us anymore right so look look at what i've done guys that was that was for the team <laughs> awesome uh i need to take cover right or are we still getting shot out with the green laser Uh oh, we can't hear okay, you. We can't hear Chris. Are you muted? I can't hear Chris either. I can't hear Chris either. Sorry. So, Cameron, you could make, if you wanted to take cover, because there are green lasers shooting all through this, you could make a violence plus athletics check. Okay, let me see. Violence athletics. Okay, four. I can probably do that. Let's do a shot. Uh, two successes and a five on computer dice. Okay, you duck behind this the seat, and one of the lasers goes right through this first guard, and he he gets pretty much vaporized on the spot. All that's left are his commie boots, and you hear okay. ding, citizen. You must get control of this vehicle now. You are wanted for killing Blue Vulture Squadron. Or, I'm sorry, Indigo Vulture Squadron Medics. Oh, shit. Bring this vehicle to a halt so that you can be arrested. Overhead, okay. the Trader Buster Hellabot starts to unleash its missiles. And it blows up the insect guns. And hits the ground right behind the car. The, the rail car. Your transbot hops the rails and lands on the freeway and continues, almost impossibly even, skidding down the highway and then rounds a corner into a tunnel. You round the bend Major? and see a slow-moving ultraviolet limousine crossing the tracks right in front of you. After screeching hard turn, the transbot barely makes it into the exit ramp. 
You would have driven into the wall if you hadn't slammed into that bus bot full of infrared clones. It bounced you back onto the ramp. Well, they went up in flames. Oh, well, they were only infrareds. You slam on what's left of the brakes and slam, slam. Oh, no, no brakes. Well, maybe you should speed up since we can't slow down. What do you um, guys do this? Yeah, I think uh, I would like to... Um, is there anything I can do to take control of this vehicle at this point? I'm, I'm trying to figure that out. Um, you could, if you wanted to try, you can make a mechanics plus operate check. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. All right. I got two successes. Okay. And computer dice? <laughs> got a five, which gets mm, computer on me. Okay. But that's a success, right? That is a success. <laughs> yeah. So Devin gains control of the of the trans bot and you come screeching to a halt into the last train station where you were supposed to get off at. Well hey, it worked. And you hear ding. Congratulations, citizens. You have made it to your destination. Report for debriefing. Well, that's what I'll do. Okay. Let's do it. So you you all head back into the um, into the briefing room that you all of this ridiculousness started at. And you see that uh, Alejandro is there. He says, normally we would ask questions about the mission objectives, collateral damage, unfriendly fire, similar things. But since this is just for the exam, we have simplified things. We will be voting publicly on who would be named the troubleshooter of the week cycle, starting with the team leader. Which actually, Wes, you were voted as a team leader. Oh. You will each say who would win this glorious award. So, Wes, who, who do you... <laughs> Who do you think, out of the three of you, well, you could vote for Glenn, too. Who do you think should be uh, Troubleshooter of the Week? Um, well, I mean, this as a player talking, I'm, I'm thinking Devin was probably the most straight-up thing, but I'm fucking an outed communist, and I cannot fucking go with people that I think really are down with the computer. And I think maybe Cameron might be in a secret society that is not pro friend computer. So I will vote Cameron. Okay. Awesome. That means everyone was really happy because I was a happiness officer. Cameron, who who do you vote for uh, for troubleshooter of the week? Um. Oh shit, we have to vote. <laughs> yeah, you gotta pick somebody and vote. But your um, reasons can be your own. You can probably I mean, vote for yourself. I don't know. I martyred myself to take out communists. I'm gonna you vote could me. vote for yourself. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm voting me. Uh, what about Devin? Well, I'm not voting for uh, West, uh, the commie. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> yeah. And I, I offed Glenn because he was also a traitor, so I guess I'm going to go with Cameron. Okay. Wow. So, it's um, yeah. a landslide. So once again, you get uh, Tila pops up, and, it, and Tila's tip. This award gives a troubleshooter 200 XP points plus two moxie. You reduce one flag, although you have no flags because you're new. So you get 200 XP points plus two moxie. Um, you get one additional clone backup. What? So you're now what, Cameron too? Yeah, now I'm too. That's awesome. Um, and you will be given one addition. You can write down that you get one upgrade point. What do you do with that? Oh, well, we'll get to that in just a moment. Okay. And your picture is on a box of Tila O's caffeinated muesli with extra focusol. Even with a one shot, this is worth fighting over. There are no punishments for losing this vote, but do you want me to do you want any of the other players to win? No. Excellent. So you finally so <clears throat> you you turn in all of or those of you that still have evidence. <laughs> I don't have any evidence. I've forgotten everything. <laughs> <It's terrible. laughs> 
And yeah. Alejandra files it and then just basically hands you all, or uh, all of your cortex get a different number that you are assigned. And he tells you, this is your... Uh, this is your troubleshooter certificate number. If you're ever asked for it, be sure to, to recite this number. And and it just quickly flashes on your screen and then is filed into the nobody cares file. Yes, we did it, team. Way and to you're, go. You're finally able to go back to the original person that you were supposed to perform a mission for, Patricia B. She says, now that that's out of the way, we can finally begin the mission. Your objective is to take this small package and deliver it to Fatima B. M. A. S. right here in this sector. I will give you the package shortly, and the room is easel easily found near CPU's main offices, four levels down. In other words, this is a B3 run. Understood. Good, good. Here's your package. And... She pulls out a small box that's gift wrapped with a big bow on it. Okay, I'll take I'll it. Take that. So as oh, soon as you right. as soon as you reach over to grab it, you see a woman come walking in, and <clears throat> and she says, or she looks over at Patricia and and on the package that you have been given, it says for your recent promotion from Pat. And Patricia takes it out of your hands and turns and hands it over to this woman. And she says, congratulations on your promotion. <clears throat> and she turns to you and says, oh, uh, great job. For your mission debriefing, each of you gets a bonus 100 XP points. Have a great day cycle. And she turns around and walks out. So you each get another 100 XP. Nice. nice. Everyone's cerebral cortex beeps. Bing! It looks like Frank Computer recorded your little chase and streamed the footage to the entire complex. The M1AA is in ruins and traffic is a horrible mess. Such mayhem and destruction made great video and you are being hailed as heroes of the M1AA commie massacre. Apparently, everything you destroyed had a commie time bomb hidden on it and everyone who died was a mutant trying to destroy our freedom to obey. What are the odds? <laughs> Excellent. So, um, you each get one upgrade point, and that's in addition to the one that you already got, Cameron. I have two upgrade points. Okay, cool. You also each get one upgrade point for delivering the package. So that's two upgrade points to everybody. Cameron gets three. Correct. So upgrade points. And let me find this. Character improvement. So, uh, well, why don't I just... Wait just a minute. So this is how you can spend upgrade points. Yeah, 
Wait, this is earning. It says earning upgrade points. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, here we go. All right. It is equally limited. But now you know how to earn them. <laughs> There you go. So if you improve a stat, does that improve everything in it by one or not? So anything that would be using that, so let's say that you decide to improve violence, and you can only have a maximum of five in either a stat or a skill. So you could improve violence, you could spend three points to improve violence by one, and then that would give you an extra dice to roll when you do, like, violence plus guns, for instance. Okay, I'm going to use all three of my points to make my brain three. Okay. Now, keep in mind, you can improve a skill with only one, you only need one up point to improve a skill. Yeah, that's true. I just decided to go with a stat, since I don't know if I'll ever get the XP man, or, um, sorry, upgrade points. I took my athletics from negative two to zero. Your athletics was at negative two? Yep. It should have just been at zero, I think. Uh, I've got all kinds of negatives. I've got negative four and engineer and negative Shit, one. I, I fixed that. Let me take a look. A negative five and charm. I've, I've been doing negatives. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You, you do have negatives. Why did this not save? I have negative and intimidate, negative five and <laughs> yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter anyway if we're wrapping up. Right. Uh, hold on here. Are all these negatives supposed to be zeros or? Let me. I don't know. They might be right. Let me double check that. Oh no, they are right. They are correct. They are the negatives are correct. Oh, okay. You can only have a maximum negative five or a maximum of five. So it, can, it can only swing one way or the other. Got it. So, yes. Uh, yeah. So, you can spend those upgrade points for upgrading your clone for the next time that we decide to do a one-off. Should we decide Very to do cool. that? Very cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's just fun. I like it. Yeah. It was fun. I like it too. It, 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 is, it. <laughs> it is highly ridiculous. Highly ridiculous. I had a good time. Yeah, it was fun. It was a neat change. So yes, next week we will be back to Traveler. Uh we will be picking up with your Imperial characters. Um and kind of getting to know them a little bit before the real serious shit hits the fan. Cool. Or, um, really, this is uh, kind of the um, things things tend to pick up rather rapidly at this point for the Pirates of Drenax campaign, so we're going to come uh, skidding into the uh, final episodes of Pirates of Drenax fairly quickly as the campaign is going to be wrapping up. So. This Imperial part will be the next phase of that uh, train coming off the rails. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Have a cool. good night.
All see right, you, later. you guys have a good night. I'll see you next week. Okay.